Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's Beer Reviews. Hope you're doing well today. I have got a Nut Brown Ale to review for you this evening. Um, it's from Samuel Smith's, Yorkshire's Finest. I haven't had a Samuel Smith's beer in ages and I think it might actually be the first Samuel Smith beer I've reviewed on the channel. So this is their Nut Brown Ale. There's the, the label. Uh, what's it say? Brewed at the old brewery, Tadcaster. Established 1758, Yorkshire's oldest brewery. And this beer is coming in at 5% ABV. It says it's brewed with well water, uh, best barley malt, yeast, and aromatic hops fermented in stone, stone Yorkshire squares to create a relatively dry ale with rich nutty colour and palette of beech nuts, almonds, and walnuts. Sounds interesting. Loads of food partner. Uh, suggestions on here. They reckon it's good with Stilton, game such as roast grouse, pheasants, partridge, roast and barbecue duck and guinea fowl, pepper steaks, spicy food, teriyaki. I ain't got any of those, but uh, there you go. It's a 550ml bottle, so it's a big one. But yeah, proper, proper classic traditional Yorkshire brewery. And uh, the nut brown ale, I mean, we're going to drink it in a proper old fashioned glass here, where's my uh, bottle opener, there it is, let's get this out, put a bit of foil around it, put the cap off, it's got a good glug to it, cool, that is, a nutty looking ale. I think this glass needed a bit of a wipe off. I had a condensation sickness to the side of that. Not anymore, there ain't. But yeah, there she is in the glass. Let's get this out of the way. She looks the part. She looks the part. It's got a lovely, sort of dark red, brown looking colour to it. Ruby bleeding through it. It's got a solid one and a bit finger, foamy looking, just off white head to it. Let's get the aroma. It smells nutty. It really does. Touch of chocolate to it, like a milk chocolate. But extremely nutty, extremely nutty smelling brown ale. Touch of sweetness, a bit of a toffee type malt to it. Yeah, not the craziest aroma, but certainly nutty. Let's get stuck in. Cheers. Oh. Oh, that's really nice. <laughs> that's really good. That's a really good beer. It's properly nutty. Really, really big nutty flavour on this. I mean, they said almonds, walnuts and beech nuts. I mean, I don't know. I don't think I've ever eaten beech nuts. Walnuts and almonds, I've certainly eaten. And there is a touch of sweetness that my palate is associating with the almonds. There's a lovely roasted malt character to it at the back end, which kind of adds to that nuttiness. It's it's chocolatey, it's nutty, it's roasted. It's light on the body. It's well carbonated. It's really refreshing. I'm probably actually serving it a little bit too cold well, you see the condensation on the side of the glass there. But I probably should have let it warm up a little bit. Um, but it's really tasty. And I think I might actually do that with the rest of it. Mm. Straight away. Now I've added, now that almond is starting to come through on it. It's almost, the more I sip it, there's almost a touch of marzipan on the flavour starting to come through. 
it's almond on arrival. Touch of milk chocolate vibe to it. So almost, almost a bit of milky coffee. I do mean very milky coffee. And then the malty character gets sort of darker. It's like crystal malts. It's like a crystal malt character. I'm getting to it. Roasted malts. It gets dark and it becomes more of a, a bitter finish. Mm. But that's really, really drinkable. That is pleasant enough. Mm. Yeah, I think it just needs to warm up a little bit and let any complexities to this beer come out a little bit more. Because at the moment, it's really tasty. To say the almonds are doing a bit, the malt's playing its part. There's a dark fruit sweetness to it as well, which I'm starting to get. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a touch of dark fruit. Like a touch of fig. Almond nuts. That kind of marzipan character. And then it becomes roasted, darker, slightly more bittering malts. Touch of a coffee vibe now that's lingering on the palate. But very drinkable. Very, very drinkable. So this is kind of uncharted territory for me. This is a new style. A nut brown ale. I don't think I've ever had a nut brown ale before. Um, I've had brown nails. I've always quite enjoyed brown nails. Excuse me. There's no comparison between this and the Newcastle brown ale. I will say that now. I think that's probably the first brown ale that most people would think of when you hear the title brown ale. But um, yeah, that, that's where the, that's where the, the similarities end. This has, like I say, a bit of body to it in comparison. It all tastes very, very good quality. You know. Definite dark fruit, almond nuts, marzipan sweetness. And the malts come in, touch of caramel. And a touch of bitterness at the back end, it lingers. And all the while, it's it's nutty. It um, does exactly what it says on the bottle, really. It's very nutty, very drinkable. Really malty, really tasty. Um, I like it. I like it. If you like a brown ale, you've not tried this one before. I'd recommend that. I reckon you quite enjoy that. Not my usual style, but that's pleasant for a change. That is nice. Nut brown ale from Samuel Smith's. That's a solid, solid beer. I like that. I'll give that a 7 out of 10. Feels right drinking it out of a dimpled glass. Bit of tradition. Um, yeah, one for the Yorkshire folk. Um, so yeah, 7 out of 10 for this one. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Something a bit different. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. I do appreciate it. Until my next one, you take care.